Hey everyone, so this is one of our last shows for Computex 2019. This one, not on a show floor. Uh, so we have an EVGA SR3 Dark here. You've probably seen this online a bit this week. I think EVGA's Jacob Freeman probably tweeted it out beginning of the week. But we've got the board here, and I'm just going to give you a top-level run-through. This is not final yet. This is one of the first boards, or maybe the first board, that EVGA has gotten for the SR3. So some stuff could change, and we don't have full details. But you get a first look at it after the one we gave you originally of just the blank PCB from about March. Uh, so this is obviously quite a bit more populated than that was. Before that, this video is brought to you by Corsair's Iron Claw RGB wireless gaming mouse. The Corsair Iron Claw focuses first on comfort with its palm grip approach and also uses a sub one millisecond wireless connection for the PC. You can toggle between wireless and Bluetooth connectivity, making it easy to control multiple PCs with one mouse, like a streaming PC and a gaming PC. The mouse has 10 programmable buttons, the PMW3391 18,000 DPI sensor, three zone RGB LEDs, and 50 million click lifespan for left and right mouse buttons. Learn more at the link in the description below. For the basics, the, the PCB 16 layers on the IO up here on the top, you can see that there's, we'll get a B-roll shot of it, but there's two 10 gigabit Intel LAN uh rj45s and then there's another one gigabit from intel next to those the water block on the chipsets also of immediate interest and uh also extends to the vrm because the sockets rotated so this is something evga has been doing with their 99 uh, x299 and z390 boards rotating the socket and the vrm which allows the some of the power connectors to end up over next to the 24 pin so you can rotate all those 90 degree angle and route the cables uh all to one spot if you wanted to but this follows the same trend EVGA has been doing. And then the water block, we've got inlet, outlet, and uh, microfins on top of the chipset, and then cooling on top of the VRM itself, which is what you'd want to run for any kind of uh, overclocking for the 3175X or something like that, which is what this board is compatible with. It's also one of the smaller, there, so there are three uh, of the boards, 600 series chipset boards that we've seen and shown on the channel. One is the Dominus Extreme, Gigabyte has one as well. I think it's the Aorus Extreme. And this board, the SR3, is smaller than those, especially than the Dominus. So uh, EATX form factor, you can fit it in more cases, which I think is one of the angles that EVGA has taken for this one. Um, other features outside of just size and fitment, there's a triple BIOS, there's a probe connector on the board if you wanted to get uh, DMM hooked up to it or something. Uh, right angle, everything as mentioned, rotated socket as mentioned, replaceable BIOS down here. So you can pull a BIOS out and put a new one in. There's a BIOS update USB header on the board and then uh, PCIe switches over in this area. So you could toggle individual switches, which we actually used with cane pin and 10 on the stage at G skill to disable one of the cards. So uh, they work in case you, you haven't used them before. I think that covers what we can say about the board for now. Some of this is, as I said, subject to change but uh, you get a look at it and then we'll update you once it's closer to finalization and uh, maybe hits retail. Also, Tin's gonna have to unbend some pins before he tests this. Computex was rough on it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, subscribe for more. Go to patreon.com slash gamersnexus to help us out directly or store.gamersnexus.net. I'll see you all next time.